Welcome back to McDSP TV, where we are proud to introduce our latest member to the McDSP family, the NR800 Noise Reduction Plugin. The NR800 is a real-time noise reduction processor that can be used in music, live sound, and post-production workflows. The NR800 operates with no internal latency and does not create any audio artifacts that can occur with other transform-based processing plugins. The NR800 features eight bands of focusable noise reduction, various noise reduction modes and noise reduction bias settings, snap threshold and snap gain functionality for fast setup, overall noise reduction range and response controls, high and low pass pre-filtering, and world-class audio processing from our Emmy award-winning engineering team. The NR800 is available now in mono and stereo versions for AAX DSP, AAX native, audio units, and VST. The NR800 has a variety of controls to assist you in configuring it for optimal performance. The pre-filter section has controls for adjusting the high and low pass pre-filters. The frequency values can be entered manually or you can drag your mouse to adjust the values. There are also four slope values to choose from, ranging from 6 to 36 dB per octave. There are input and output gain controls along with pre-filter enable buttons. The plot view section shows pre-filter and noise reduction curves and can be adjusted by dragging the plot indicators. Double-clicking an indicator will disable its functionality and a single click will enable it. The range knob adjusts the overall amount of noise reduction. The NR button enables the noise reduction processing while the X2 button doubles the amount of reduction being applied. The response knob adjusts the rate at which the noise reduction occurs based on the noise reduction mode that is currently selected. The NR low and high values set the lowest and highest values for the noise reduction processing. They can be adjusted by entering a value from your keyboard, by clicking and dragging, or by adjusting the NR indicators in the plot view section. There are six noise reduction modes to choose from, ranging from smooth to very fast. Be sure to experiment with these modes when encountering difficult material. There are several noise reduction bias curves which are used in conjunction with the snap gain feature to provide various gain curves based on your selection. The snap threshold allows you to quickly set all eight noise reduction threshold indicators to levels based on the current input signal. The snap gain sets all noise reduction gain faders to a level that is determined by the threshold levels and the NR bias selection. For best results, snap the thresholds first, followed by the gain. In the noise reduction control section, you can fine tune individual threshold values by clicking and dragging the orange indicators for each band. You can also adjust the individual amount of attenuation for each band with the gain sliders. The gain value is applied when the signal level falls below the noise reduction threshold. The NR800 has a range of gain from plus 3 to minus 12 dB. These amounts are doubled when the X2 button is engaged. The noise reduction for each band can be enabled or disabled by clicking on the band number. Each band can be solo to monitor the signal of that band to help hone in on problem areas. There are also master and link controls allowing a master band to control any linked bands for global adjustments. Now let's check out the NR800 in action. For our first NR800 example, we have a VO track that has some intrusive HVAC noise in it. Let's listen to some of it. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. We'll start by enabling the pre-filter section to curb some of the highs and lows. Let's go with 80 and 14K and set our slopes. We'll leave the NR high and low values at default and set the NR mode to fast and the NR bias to dialog 1. Now we can set the initial threshold and gain values with the snap buttons. We want to snap the threshold first when there is nominal signal present and then the gain. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. Next, we'll use the solo feature to find the problem areas. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. 
MacDSP technology can be found in Pro Audio plugins for popular digital audio workstations, including Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, and Avid Live. Let's use Band 4 as our master band to link the others to it, then fine-tune thresholds and gain values. Holding down the Shift key while selecting the master will automatically link the other bands. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. McDSP technology can be found in Pro Audio plugins for popular digital audio workstations, including Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, and Avid Live Sound Systems. McDSP audio algorithms are also used by companies such as Audio Kinetic, BioWare, and Microsoft, and in consumer products like the Louder Logic iOS audio player. And now to adjust the response. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. Here it is bypassed. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. Engaged. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. One more time while comparing. McDSP is an innovative and award-winning Silicon Valley audio software company founded in 1998 by Colin McDowell. McDSP technology can be found in Pro Audio plugins for popular digital audio workstations, including Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, and Avid Live Sound Systems. McDSP audio algorithms are also used by companies such as Audio Kinetic, BioWare, and Microsoft, and in consumer products like the Louder Logic iOS audio player. The HVAC noise has been significantly suppressed with no artifacts. For our next example, let's see how quickly the NR800 can clean up this noisy guitar riff. Here's a sample of it. And here we go. We'll start with pre-filtering at 70 and 12K. Adjust the low NR value to 150. Set the NR mode to smooth 2 and bias to high cut 1. And snap our initial threshold and gain values. Find our problem areas and link our bands. Make some adjustments. Let's try the 2x mode and adjust the response and range values. Let's compare. Now that was fast and it sounds great. For our last example, we have a leaky snare track that we are using the NR800 to help suppress some of the bleed from the kick and cymbals while giving more focus only to the snare itself. As you can see, there is some pre-filtering and the low NR value is at 75. We are using the smooth one mode to allow the snare's transients to come through along with a flat bias setting. There is a lowered response and increased output gain to make up for some of the reduction, along with adding to the focus of the snare. And the primary noise reduction focus is on the kick and cymbal bands. Let's listen and compare.
As you can hear, the NR800 is not your typical noise reduction plug-in. The NR800 is a powerful noise reduction plugin that operates with no internal latency and produces no unwanted audio artifacts. To find out what the NR800 can do for your next project, head over to mcdsp.com and download a copy. Install it and click the try button to get your 14 day full featured demo today. Thanks for watching McDSP TV and have a great time mixing.